I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 288, where I'm going to do actually a continuation of episode 286, where I showed you how to aggregate from month to year only using a hidden function or a secret function within Quantrix called the forceless function. And then in episode 287, I showed you the structural function of at ID with a category name and how you use that. Well, in part two of aggregating from month to year only, I want to show you how to use the at ID to solve that problem. So maybe go back and watch episode 286 to see it solved one way. And then, of course, watch 287 to see about at ID. And then watch this, and I will show you how... Uh, it can be sh fixed another way, and also this is a great uh, education here on just how to fix the pound size error within Quantrix Modeler. So I have here my model from episode 286, and what I'm doing is I have a list of accounts by departments, uh, by month, and by year. And I want to create an aggregate of those accounts by department uh, for just the year without the month. And I can't do this very easily because these accounts, uh, this account category is not linked. And, and this is necessary because not all of the accounts listed in here need to be in this matrix here. So they're two different categories. And when I go out and I write a select statement that goes and selects the values found here by using this as my key list and looking up this item here, uh, I get a pound size error, as you can see. So why am I getting the pound size error? If I go down here and hover in my dependency inspector, I can see that my value list is returning 1,488 items, whereas my key list is only returning 124 items. And so that is why I have the pound size error. I showed in episode 286, again, how I would fix that by using... Uh, what is called the force list function within Quantrix and doing uh, adding another category of month and then force listing on month as shown here. And again, that's shown in episode 286. But I want to show you another way that you can solve this by using something called at ID and at silent. So if I were to go here, I would say matrix dot value is equal to sum select. What do I want to select? Again, I want to select just the values found up in this other metric matrix. So I'm going to call it our department month year comparison all natural accounts, kind of a verbose uh, matrix name, if you will. But I want to bring back the value. So that is my key list. That's going to bring back 1,488 items just like it did before. But my problem is, is I now need to get 1,488 items uh, <clears throat> to be in my key list because my value list is that uh, 1488 items. So how can I do that? What I do is I use the at ID and I say, okay, what is the at ID that I want to bring back? I want to bring back this category uh, with these natural accounts. And then I want to employ something called the silent function. And I hit silent, and this is how you have to use the silent function, uh, is you have to use it in conjunction with at ID. And then I say, okay, silent, uh, what, what category do I want to be silent? I want uh, my month to be silent, which is here. So I want it to bring back all the natural accounts. Essentially what I'm saying is I want to bring all back only the natural accounts across all of the months and I don't want to bring back the months but I want to kind of proliferate all of these natural accounts across the months that's probably the best way to understand that and then I go ahead and I hit my comma and I want to bring back my at labor account here so if I go ahead and I hit that 
then it goes ahead and it fixes the pound size error and you can see that it is a thing of beauty because indeed 24 is the value for 2019 as I can see here. So a little bit more about the at silent function. If you go out to the help file, you can see that it permutes the return values from other meta functions for each item along the specified category. So yes, I am permuting the, this item which is these manufacturing accounts across the months. So if I were to look at the dependency inspector here, you would see that indeed, I now have 1,488 items and it's only bringing back the natural accounts. It's not bringing back the months, although it's proliferating the natural accounts across the months. And that is because uh, the months are silent. Again, back to the help file, it says, at silent is a way to return a single item multiple times along a different dimension without the other dimension values being part of what is returned. So that is a key to understanding how at silent works and what it does. And again, this little clarification here that says this function is used to multiply the identifiers across another dimension to resolve pound size errors in selects. So that's how you can fix a a select pound size error when you have you know kind of these aggregates where you're going from maybe one dimension to another and things just maybe aren't linked and matching up quite right with the the size of your key list and your value list go ahead and try to use the at ID and the at and the silent function within Quantrix and it should work for you beautifully if you have any questions about at silent or anything about Quantrix. I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com and ask me that question. I really do love Quantrix. It makes my day every day that I get to use it. That's why I stay up late and make YouTube videos to help you because I'm passionate about it and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.